15, 20. red-handed here actually look like I've been missing Kona week so much and wow, it's the BMR man like it's such a big part of that week leading into the world championships it's tradition you know and like I know we can't have the world championships this year but heck I'm gonna have my BMR Right, here's the score. The night before the Ironman World Championships each year, some brave folk head down to the old airport in Kailua, Kona for the annual BMR, the ultimate feat of athleticism and drinking prowess. Now, normally it's just people that aren't competing in the Ironman World Championships the next day, but I am sure that there's probably some mad person out there that has attempted to do both in the past too. Now, obviously we're not in the quite so glamorous location of Kona. We've had to resort to a rather damp and soggy field here in the UK, but, I've got the beers in and I've also got some willing and eager competitors. So, here they are. First up, we have Leon, one of the nicest men I know, or at least I thought so. Strength, running. He is the fastest runner here today. Weakness, drinking. So, this could be fun. And then we have Harry, the color coordinated ninja. Strength, clearly doing forward rolls. Weakness, blowing up during the warm up. Brian, don't be fooled by this man's studious looks. He means business. Strength, once held second on the cold that is around KOM, just behind Roman Bardet. Weakness, crushing his mountain bike. And then we can't forget the women, Flory, Verity, and our very own Heather. Together, they mean business. Oh, and finally, me. All right, everyone, thanks so much for joining today. So you'll see behind me, I've marked out a course. It's approximately 400 meters. So we've got to complete four laps of this today and four cans of beer. Now the rules are, we've got to start by finishing a can of beer and then at the end of each of the laps, you've also got to finish the can of beer. Now you've got between this cone here and the coconut, which is 10 meters, is your transition in which you've got to finish that can of beer. You can't run off with that can of beer. That doesn't mean that you have to have swallowed all that beer. So take that into your own hands. Um, and in light of equality, women and men do have to both do four cans of beer. And if you do puke and bring up any of the beer, it's a penalty of one lap at the end. So let's do this. It's literally like your stomach is so full and you're just you're you're just adding more to something that just you, you can't add more to. It's like it's coming up and you're and, and also you're like dreading what you're gonna do like run wise. Like your stomach's just not gonna be able to handle it. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty horrific. Right, we are two thirds of one lap in already. Mark has a commanding lead here. Harry is now managing to slowly peg him back. We've then got Leon in third, and Brian bringing up the PSN uh, rear in fourth. And then the girls are going for a team tactic of jogging together. It would seem, but Mark's going pretty quick.
right, so Mark has quite frankly run away with this. With one lap to go, he has lapped the entire field. We've got the girls here just about completing lap two. And I'm not sure that they are going to get through all four, but fingers crossed. It's been a team decision because we're kind of running together. We've made it halfway and yeah, we're not going to beat Mark. He's lapped us. Definitely the worst sporting experience I've ever had. If it counts as sport, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, it was it was horrible. Uh, puked after two laps, I think, or two beers. So that's one lap. So about yeah, two minutes in, puking. Oh, it's just horrible. I think it's like probably being at the 35th kilometer of a marathon or something like that when you've got stomach cramps and yeah. But once you puke, you feel way better, and then you're flying, and then you have to drink another beer, and that's not good. Ugh. I really need to throw up, but I just can't. I feel quite good now, so I just burp. Go okay, on then. Oh. I don't think I'm going to channel too fast, I just feel horrific. Oh. Oh, what's the heart rate? 126. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right, 2020 Kona beer mile done. In not quite the usual fashion, but uh, yeah, this isn't all beer on my top, so um, do forgive me, it's actually all sweat and various other things, but yeah. Um, that was tough. Like, I, I struggled this time. I think maybe whether it's the heat when we're in Kona and you're dehydrated and I just been gasping for that beer. Um, I struggled a little bit today, but we had great fun. It's so tough, like running away and you've basically got a throat full of beer and you're trying to breathe through that beer. I can't explain how tough that is. You're trying to gasp through that beer and then for the next half a lap, you're burping and then before you know it, you're grabbing the next beer. It's so, so hard. Um, I think I need more training to be honest. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have really enjoyed today's uh, Kona beer mile with the not so usual Kona fashion to it. Um, if you have enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up, like. Um, I would say try this at home, but probably don't try it at home. Um, and do subscribe to the channel if you're not doing so already or follow us on social media.